Uh, hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about some common contour do's and don'ts, contour mistakes, basically just things that I've seen um, or that make like a really big difference. They might not know. Number one is basically follow, trying to follow any contour guide for ostensibly your face shape. Something to keep in mind is that like, there's a range of heart-shaped faces or square faces or round faces, and it isn't necessarily going to be like a one size fits all. So finding someone on the internet who has ostensibly a heart-shaped face and you think you have a heart-shaped face might not be exactly what you're looking for. So rather than focus on like face shape, I like to focus on section of the face. So lower jawline, cheekbones, forehead, because it's kind of like mix and match, you know? Number two, it's very, I just realized I didn't fill in my brows. Number two is understanding why you put contour where you put it. Uh, so one of the things to keep in mind is that contour is meant to be dark because it's pushing an area back in space and uh, highlight, if you highlight, the light things um, are going to come forward. So they're going to be highlighted. So things that you want to minimize are the things that you're gonna want to contour. So I wanna show you halvesies on my face, some mistakes that I've seen. Uh, so the first one that I wanna start off with is my cheekbones. Something that I used to do is contour really high up here on my cheekbone, which I didn't really realize was pushing this area back in space and kind of like bringing this area forward, which isn't like necessarily bad, but it's not what I was going for. If you look at my face, the widest point of my face is my cheekbones right here, which I actually like. I want to enhance that because I actually like to create more of a heart-shaped face so or effect. So what I'm gonna do, and this is something that I learned from um, the makeup artist Hung, I'll link his channel down below, he's amazing, is to contour just in here, in this hollow right here, to accentuate uh, this going in and make this area pop even more. So I'm gonna place my contour right here, just a little bit above, so right in there. So a common mistake that I see a lot is people just kind of like scooping their cheekbones like this. That's not necessarily a flattering like technique on my face in general because the majority of the volume of my face is up here, not really down here, not really here um, in the center of my cheek, but also because kind of just doing this motion accentuates this area and it ends up dragging my face down. And I wanna show you, once everything is blended, why that doesn't look good. For my lower jawline, something that I really like to do. If you like, take a look. We make a quick, quick double check. A mistake, not, not necessarily a mistake, but it depends on your face shape. I'll just see these makeup artists do this thing to these like perfect faces, like these beautiful women, where they enhance their chin, this part. So they'll put like a line here to enhance their chin like that or they will line just against the jawline to make the jawline look smaller which if i do a double chin just makes this area pop forward more okay so instead of putting that line here i'm going to kind of bring it in here so i'm kind of going like against that area i want to push this area back and i'm going to scoop it underneath here it's sort of like lifted whereas on this side i look like a psycho marionette doll that's gonna kill you <laughs> all right last mistake and i want to show you how everything looks when it's blended obviously is for nose um so something that i see often is a lot of the time when people go to contour their nose they'll just draw a stripe of dark down the side of their nose like that because they're like, that's where the shadow is, right? But what this does is it just makes my nose look wider because it creates more of a shadow here, which makes the white part of my nose, the light part of my nose more prominent, it makes it feel like it's coming forward even more, which is why it's casting such a gigantic shadow. So what you wanna do instead, if you're trying to make your nose look a little bit more narrow is draw your line inward a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it in like this. It doesn't have to be too much, but can you see the difference from this side? The lines that we've drawn, like the direction that they're going and like what we're going for versus this side. 
it's kind of crazy. Like, doesn't my nose look like it's going like this way? <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna blend this out and let's compare. Same deal, focusing it in this area. This is the area that I wanna push back in space. So I'm blending and then I'm gonna hug my lower jawline just underneath in this area that I want to push back in space to minimize. I'm gonna go over here. So scooping the cheekbone, bringing it up to the ear. Blending here to make the chin more prominent. You may have come across this. I feel like I've seen this in so many tutorials of makeup artists doing this, uh, <laughs> this move right here on like these women that are already like so stunningly perfect. Not so good on me. And then blending right on the jawline to minimize that jaw bone, which especially in my case is going to make this area look like it's being pushed back in space, <laughs> which is going to bring this area forward anytime I'm talking. Now I'm going to blend the right side. So I want to keep this in kind of a nice slender line. So I'm just patting and then I'm just going to gently blend it down a little bit. Wipe off, go back in and tap. Just a really light hand because I don't want to completely like remove that line, but I obviously don't want it to be so stark. So patting, and then you can go in with your concealer brush or your sponge and just diffuse those edges. Okay, so can you see how that kind of like brings the eye inward? It kind of makes it look a little bit more narrow. So on this side, I'm just gonna shade the side of my nose. <laughs> Do you see how it's kind of like pushing my nose this way? Like it's making it look like it's more like that. Whereas this side is kind of bringing it inward. So if we analyze this side, what we can see is that the dark color here cupping, especially this part of my cheek, doesn't flatter my specific cheek shape. It's also just making this area look way too dark and dragging the eye down. As well as this weird thing is kind of like giving me the appearance of jowls when I don't have them. And by darkening this area, it's kind of like making all of this just one plane. So it's not giving me that nice like defined cheekbone. The nose is obvious. I mean, you can see that like putting this really, really dark shade here, it makes this stand out so much more, which is going to make the top of my nose look more prominent and also wider. Whereas on this side, we have this area nice and pushed back. And we also have this like nice line created here because I shaded, I shaded this area and then I brought it underneath my jawline. So when I do a double chin like this and I'm talking, this is more pushed back in space than this. Do you see that difference? And my cheekbone has like a really nice like lifted definition without looking old. So like this side of my face looks like nice and young and sculpted whereas this side looks like old and like dragged down. You know, I'm like aging myself without needing to. Um, and then obviously like, I wouldn't consider myself the best at contouring my nose. I have a bumpy nose, it's difficult, but you can see that this line right here, the shadow that we've created is bringing that in a little bit. If you have like a really easy nose, if you don't have a bump, or if you just have like a flatter bridge or whatever, you don't have bumps, it's gonna work for you really well. This looks so crazy. Yeah, that looks so bad. It just drags my face down like crazy. <laughs> so funny to see it side by side. Uh, all right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I know I've done like a lot of contour content, contour, bronzer, highlighting, all of that stuff. Um, but I wanted to show you some stuff side by side. I feel like it makes a big difference. And I would love to hear if you have any specifics, you know, specific questions, whatever, as far as placement goes. You know, that's bad. This looks like me. This doesn't, I don't know what that is.
<laughs> this I can't. All right. Anyway, um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know. I'll see you soon.